been taking a nap. Oh, is that not the okay. cutest guy ever? Yeah. What's up fam? So, I was supposed to go to work today. Well, actually I did go to work today. But, <laughs> let me show you what your girl did. Oh, you can't even see it. But, bam. I have a boot on. Pretty much took my dog to the dog park and I was like trying to be Ronaldo for some reason and I was kicking tennis balls for him to go catch and one tennis ball I threw in the air and I went to Oh so no these dogs are getting on my nerves. I don't know what happened to the footage of when I was telling you guys what happened, but pretty much I went to kick the ball, so my foot was going up, my dog went to catch the ball, so he was coming down at the same time, his jaw hit, okay, like on the top of your foot, kind of like in the inside-ish, like towards the inside, um, you know that bone that's like on your arch, his jaw hit that part of my foot, and it gave me a contusion on my bone which just means that my bone is bruised really bad um the doctor said it's like bruised almost to the point of a fracture so yeah my dog wasn't really hurt that bad um he just kind of cried for a second and i felt so bad i mean i felt so bad for my poor baby but he's okay um but yeah i got injured no dogs were harmed in the making and it sucked and like it was cold outside so look at my dog just thinking about it he gets all emotional <laughs> um it's super cold outside so my foot was like freezing cold and i didn't really feel it at first like it hurt i went down for a second when it happened like it hurt bish but like it was so cold outside that I don't know how to it's like as if my foot was being iced so I didn't think it was that bad until I slept and then like at four in the morning I woke up my foot you guys my fucking foot was on fire like it hurt so bad to the point that I woke up I started crying like I was crying in my sleep like I was crying when I woke up and I was like are you good sis and then like I called my mom literally on the phone I couldn't even get to her room I called my mom oh I don't know if you guys can tell but like I moved I'm back in my mom's house for a little bit so that's why my room is like this and I know you guys can see my laundry and I don't give a fuck because this is my real life but like it's how the blankets in there so that's why my clothes look like they're piled up so high I just put all my blankets in the laundry because we use some of them to like help move the big stuff so I just want to like wash everything um but yeah <clears throat> I forgot what I was saying but oh so I woke up four in the morning and I called my mom and I was like, Mom, can you help me? Like, I need help. I don't feel good. Like, my foot is really hurting, but I feel like I'm going to pass out. And when I looked at myself in the mirror, I was literally gray. Like, like a light gray. And I'm white. Like, my skin color is white. I'm Hispanic, but my skin color is, like, whitish. Puerto Rican, so. Um, but, yeah, so I looked, like, really, like, extra pale. Like, more pale than this. And I was gray. And I just kept, like, coming in and out of consciousness. My stomach was hurting. Like, it took the life out of me. And, yeah, bitch, that really hurt, though. It is now, it happened on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Went to work, gave them my doctor's note, and it said that today was supposed to be my day of return to work. Um, and then, um, and that I could come back with restrictions, like I can't carry heavy plates, have to take like a huge dose of ibuprofen, like 600 milligrams or something. Um, and then my job was just like, girl, go home. And I was like, alright then. 
home it is. So, so to make this video a little interesting, the fuck is this? Okay, to make it a little interesting, I thought I'd do like this little thing on Instagram. It's like random questions, and I thought I'd answer some for you guys. So, let's see what this one is. Current job. I currently work in a restaurant, and that's as far as I want to go with that. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Current job again. Why are you so curious? Who inspires you the most? Um, hmm, great question, Instagram. Uh, honestly, <clears throat> I don't really think I have a person that inspires me the most, like a specific name. I have like a type of person that inspires me the most. Um, just anybody who's themselves and really confident in themselves and like who is positive and happy throughout anything I mean obviously you're not going to be happy like you know through everything that happens like that would just be so abnormal to be that happy all the time but people who make the best out of the situations people who kind of just go for their goals their dreams like whatever they want to do those are the people that really inspire me just to get out there like people who okay so there's this girl that I follow on Instagram make sure I didn't freaking pause this again okay so like I was saying there's this girl named Nicole that I follow on Instagram and I just remember her talking about how she left her relationship for um like traveling and you know just to follow her dreams and honestly things like that really inspire me because I have a really hard time of letting go of people and things um yeah little mini therapy session with myself but I do I mean it's really hard for me to let go of things and be kind of like I don't want to say this in a negative way but like kind of selfish in a good way like I know that I want to do this for myself I know that this is my dream but I just have a really really hard time letting go so that like people like that really inspire me I think that's so amazing to do that for yourself Let's see, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> Cute angle, baby. Next question. Do you have a pet? Yes, you guys have seen my dog, Ace. That's my only pet, is my baby Ace. He's a big lab. He might be mixed with something, but I don't know. Scariest thing that's ever happened. Um scariest thing that's ever happened i don't know I, oh okay one of the scariest sorry i keep switching arms my arms getting tired one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me actually happened to me recently and um besides the haunted house that i went to fuck that i hate haunted houses like a bitch cannot handle it but um the scariest thing that happened to me recently was i opened up my spotify account and I noticed all these weird songs that, like, I've never heard of on my account. And somebody had been on my, like, hacked my account and had been listening to music on there. And then I kept getting all these weird emails. And honestly, I was so scared. I was like, who is in my account? Like, Spotify is, like, $9.99. Get your own. But, yeah, that was really weird. Um, it was really scary. I kind of felt like my privacy had been invaded which I mean it had but that's one of the scariest things that's happened to me recently because if you can get into my email like you can probably get into my phone you can get into my pictures Ooh, that scared me all right the next question says pet peeve um I'll show you guys that like it's really saying these things if it's focusing I don't know pet peeve so um my biggest pet peeve one any sound that a mouth makes like chewing or like this region of your face like sniffling 
I cannot be bothered. Um, I don't know why. That sounds so mean, but it really just bothers me a lot. Um, but a pet peeve of like a personality trait, I guess, that people have is when people don't listen to other people's emotions or like don't let them have it, it's kind of like they make them feel like they're not allowed to feel that way or like you're dumb or like you're just, you know, insecure or whatever. That's honestly a huge pet peeve of mine because everybody feels different about everything, you know, and who are you to decide like how someone should feel about something. This one's good. It says, ideal life partner. Bitches about to cry. Um, my ideal life partner is someone who's nice, first of all. Someone who, <laughs> my biggest pet peeve, someone who listens to my emotions, lets me feel my emotions, doesn't just call me crazy or insecure or, you know, whatever. Someone who's, um, shows empathy someone who likes hiking and likes to go outdoors and likes to have fun someone who doesn't make me feel like i have any competition with anyone else um i don't like it when people brag about like their body count or you know like oh th this girl likes me this girl likes me or this guy likes me you know i don't like that um someone who is honest Honesty is really a huge thing for me. If you're not honest, it kind of kills it for me because I kind of have like an issue trusting people, which I know is my own issue and like something that I definitely have to work on. But if you're not honest, um, you know, like if I catch you in a lie once, fine, maybe, depending on the lie. But if I catch you in more than one lie, I'm just going to start to get really curious about everything that you say. I'm not going to trust it and things like that. So, honest, likes to try new things and, like, doesn't just have to do what they want to do, you know? Like, people who um, are down to try, like, what I like to do and do the things that I like to do because I would do that for them. Like, if my significant other likes to do things that I necessarily wouldn't usually do or don't like to do... I would do it with them just because it's fun and whatever, but, you know, if that's not reciprocated, then it's kind of hard. It kind of feels like they don't care about what you like. Um, who is your best friend? Oh, so I have a lot of best friends. Best friends. Um, for one, my dog, Ace. He is my best friend. He's so cool. We like to go on hikes together. We like to do all the same stuff. Because <laughs> they force him to. Um, no, but he loves hiking. He loves swimming. He loves to go to the river, to the lake. He loves all that stuff. And he's such a good dog. Um, my other best friend is Ashley. I've been best friends with her since 2007. Since we were in 7th grade. Really, if, when we were in preschool. Ashley, if you're listening, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Melly and Ruth and Mitch, those are my other three best friends. And then Ton, um, he's one of my other best friends too. We go hiking together, we do a lot of fun stuff together. So those are my best friends. So hopefully this spiced this video up a little bit. Um, and focus yourself into activating the vibration of what you want. Good morning guys. Welcome back. Um, right now I'm getting ready, well, welcome back to the same video because it's just a new day. But anyways, I am, let me make sure this is in focus. Because yesterday, yesterday was really up and up. But, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to go to work right now. I can see, like, a bright light in my lens. Okay, there we go. Getting ready to go to work. Um... Yay. I'm an opener this morning, so I don't really... Yeah, it's 9.45. I have to leave in 15 minutes. Um, but, what was I saying? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I don't have to wear my uniform until I get in there. So, like, until after we open, because we get there at 10.15, and then we don't open until 11. 
Um, so I never like wear my uniform because I don't want to wear that any more than I have to. So should be an interesting day because they want me to wear like a slipper under my boot, which I don't know how I'm going to fit a freaking slipper under my boot. So we're going to figure that out really quick. I'm going to make some coffee for myself because that's my weakness. But every morning before I drink coffee, I do drink water. So yes, I know single use plastic. I'm so sorry, but I fill these bottles up like a hundred times before I throw them away. Um, and also, that water is so good at Publix right now. I don't know if you live near Publix or if you have a Publix near you. But at Publix right now, it's buy one, get one free for those waters. So, yum. Um, I don't know if they're actually really any different than regular water. I know that it tastes different because I'm a water lover. But I don't know if it does anything for you different. But I don't really care. Um, I got it anyways. So... Good morning guys. So, today I'm going to hang out with my friends. I don't know if I'm going to vlog, but I don't know. Because I say I will and then I get distracted just because I'm with them and we're having fun and we're just like, you know, and I'm not used to vlogging yet, but I'm going to try. Definitely want to do that. I will see you guys when I see you. I'm going to start driving to my friend's house and then we're going to go drive to my other friend's house. And we're just going to have breakfast and like chill at somebody's house because usually we would chill at my apartment. But right now, I mean, I guess I still have it technically, but there's nothing in it. I don't know. We might. I don't know what we're going to do, honestly. Like one time we ended up in like this random like, I don't know, where you can buy like incense and like they had bowls there and it, it was just like so random but then like we went to the other side and it was like a whole sex shop and we were like um so i don't know what we're gonna do we always end up in funny places one time we went to this park and we were like all saying wouldn't it be funny or like wouldn't it be kind of scary if we saw a snake and then we went around this corner and all of a the sudden there's a big like huge snake was there and i was like oh my god like we all just straight up ran we were so scared but the snake was so big i don't know but we really manifested that so we should have talked about money or something else i don't know say hi mitch say hi you look matching <laughs> all of our food. you all been cool enough what do you mean no nah. Nah, you, you haven't vlogged with us before. Yes, yeah, I have. You betrayed us. You, there. well, Mitch, you weren't in it, actually. <laughs> it was yeah, just Melly and Ruth. <laughs> Why did I you hope? Did, this uh, looks like he's just looking at my stomach. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> you do it, Mitch. Why? Because you're the guy. Come because on. Because you're the best at it. That's what we decided. Molly. You. you do it faster than okay, us. Ruth. That's why. I take my precious ass. Oh. <laughs> right, Em? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, girl. Okay, you want to smoke or not? It's not Mitch, being don't mean, get Mitch that right. attitude with us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes. Like, you know the vibes. Oh, you got other friends now? No, not like You that. heard that, Mitch? Oh, man. Oh, girl, not like that. <laughs> oh, you got other friends now? Suspicious as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I'm dead. Do they have a bathroom here? Yeah, no. all the way over there. Damn. Where we where Tilo is parked. Damn bitch. Can you give me a drive by? I kinda wanna pee before we like get out though, you know? Are you recording this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I can edit it. But you're not. Probably not. <laughs> but they can see Mitch, like what you're doing. Yeah, probably not. It's a fucking dog park. They care about the dogs. But I was talking about the camera. Oh. <laughs> not the people. Do you want to just now we rolling? This is me rolling. Are you guys singing white and nerdy? Oh, God. Bro. Weird Al Yankovic was my shit as a kid. I feel like you're the type of person to be weird out Yankovic for Halloween. My email address before my 
adult email address. It was weirdmitch101 at gmail.com. <laughs> because of Weird Al. I just want the camera to see what you look like. Weirdmitch101. <laughs> I forgot that was the camera. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're good. You guys, look where they have me. What are we doing? Actually, I like being out here. This looks kind of cool. Yeah, huh? But, I don't know. <gasps> Root. What do y'all think is in these holes? Probably like roots. <laughs> what if it's roots? I thought he said roots. <laughs> <laughs> what would y'all do if I just fell right here? Laugh. Laugh. <laughs> no, let's just laugh at you. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, buddy. This is Maui. She. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> back in action my camera died so I haven't seen y'all in a while but right now I'm about to do a closet transformation oh sis I'm scared to even show you my closet but I'm about to so you can see before and after like what the heck is this OMG <laughs> I never organized it when I moved in, so I just put my clothes in there, and yeah, not a good idea. So, <laughs> that lasted longer than it was supposed to, but I kind of snapped on that, kind of popped off a little bit. I'm going to show you guys. I completely changed my room, and I was literally just supposed to be doing my closet. But, oh well, I feel better now. Okay, so hung up my mirror, hey there, don't mind that, it's the trash, I'm about to take it out, so I hung up my mirror, I got my TV, my little plant, I hung up these lights on my window, which I think look really cute, my bed of course, cute, I moved that picture um, there and the guitar and stuff, so like my laundry basket was there, that picture was there and then the mirror was here it's kind of hard to see let me turn this off oh well now you can't see anything i don't know but so the mirror was here um but now there's like a string of lights there you just can't see it and then this is like my incense and my essential oils on a table okay and then See if I can get my phone lighting. Yeah, you can kind of see it better there, but anyways. So, then, we have our closet. So, I took all the stuff out. That's my shoes, my dirty basket thing. Up top is my pajamas, that top row. I can't even reach, so I just put everything that I don't want up there. So, I have, um... My pajamas, my Puerto Rico hat, just those little cute things, my purse, that. And then all my stuff kind of like overflowed in here because I don't have a lot of closet space and I have a ton of clothes. Um, so then over here by this mirror and the guitar, I have that. And yeah, looks nice. It looks a lot better. I feel a lot better now. And I set up my Google Home, so that's good. So... I don't even know what footage is on here, <laughs> but I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you subscribe to my videos. I hope you like it. Please give it a thumbs up because I really want to, like, focus on this channel. Yeah, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.